Framer versus Webflow. For a while now, Webflow has been praised as arguably the best no-code website builder. But recently, Framer has been getting a lot of attention. In today's video, we are going to break down the core differences between Framer and Webflow. Then we'll talk about how you can choose the best website builder for your specific use case. So without further ado, let's get started. Now about Framer. Framer helps you build and design websites with a workflow that is super similar to popular design tools like Figma and Sketch. You can drag and drop your different components onto a canvas to build your website seamlessly. It's marketed as a maximum speed solution since it allows you to publish your sites super quickly. Now let's talk about Webflow. Webflow is a no-code design and development tool that allows you to build these websites with zero code as well. It offers a visual interface that you can use to build your websites very quickly. Now let's compare the two based on four different categories. The first comparison category is your own personal experience. While both Framer and Webflow are designed to help you build fast with zero previous experience, your own past skills sure help. Framer as a tool was first designed for designers. Previous experience with design and prototyping workflow ensures that you will easily adjust to using Framer. So in this case, Framer could be the one for you if you have this previous experience. Webflow, on the other hand, while being a no-code website builder, it does allow you to use custom code and build different integrations on top of it. So previous experience with code makes Webflow a better option for you. The second category is community. Now let's assume you don't have any previous experience. You want to learn one of these tools. How do you go about choosing this? When learning a new skill online, it's important to take a look at the community behind it. Because Webflow has been around for a longer period of time, you'll find that the community online is much larger than that for Framer. This means that there's way more tutorials, content, resources online that can help you learn even faster. And it also means that there are more ready-made templates. So you're more likely to find a specific template that will enable you to build your website super quickly. One thing I want to say though is don't let this discourage you from going for Framer. Framer itself has a community that is growing super quickly. More and more content is being published every day about Framer. You'll find tons of new tutorials that were published within the last 12 months and amazing templates are being created and sold every single day. Now the next point is features. Both of these tools have a wide variety of features that you can use for designing and building these websites. Webflow arguably has a larger number of features and integrations with third-party websites, but of course this is because it's been around for a longer period of time. Framer does offer all the features you need, however, to build a website like a blog, a landing page, a portfolio, so you can use either Framer or Webflow to build something like that, but I would say Webflow is the better alternative if you need something with more advanced functionality. Now the fourth thing we're going to talk about is pricing. So the pricing you see on top, this is the pricing for Framer and the one at the bottom is for Webflow. Both of these tools have a free tier that forces you to use their branding. That means in the case of Framer, your website will have a banner that tells your users that this was built using Framer. And in Webflow, this means that your website will use the webflow.io subdomain. So if John Smith were to publish a portfolio website and he was using the free tier in Webflow, his domain name would be johnsmith.webflow.io. It would not be his own custom domain name. Now to take things even further, to build a simple one-page site, in Framer, you can pay $10 per month and in Webflow, you can pay $18 per month. This will allow you to build a simple website, something like a landing page, a portfolio, something to showcase yourself or to showcase a product. This would cost you 10 in case of Framer and $18 in case of Webflow. Now, if you want to create a blog, you're going to need something called a content management system. This is where you're going to manage all of your content, your blog posts, all the information related to these blog posts. So to get a content management system or CMS with Framer, you need to pay $20. And in that case, you would get one CMS collection. So one collection of content. Now, in the case of Webflow, you would have to pay $29 per month and you would get 2000 CMS items. So if you were running a blog, this would mean you would get 2000 blog posts. 
which should be more than enough if you are running a blog. But if you cross the 2000 blog posts or the 2000 CMS items, you can pay $49 per month using Webflow to get 10,000 CMS items. And in Framer, you can pay $30 to get 10 CMS collections instead of one. All of these are billed monthly. The prices will vary if you bill yearly and there are different offers if you pay for one whole year in advance. So which one should you go for? The answer is, it depends. Based on your own personal experience and your specific use case, the answer will vary. At the end of the day, one thing that you should know is that it's not about which tool you use, rather it's about the output you produce with it. If a website is going to take you two days to build in Webflow, but only half a day to build with Framer, you can maybe look at this and conclude that Framer is the one for you. If one of them satisfies your budget conditions better, you may end up going for that one. At the end of the day, it's all about you, your preferences, and what you are trying to build. Do take these points into account and let me know in the comments which tool you plan on building your next website with. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.